Wouldn't it be so much easier if you had one central site that was so simple that all your clients had to do was look at what you offer, all the services you offer, whether they're your business or whether they're for fun. Wouldn't it be easier for them to be able to search that quickly? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a link tree that does exactly that and how to share it both online and offline. All right, so here's what we wanna do to start. We're gonna go ahead and get a link tree. So the purpose of the link tree is a place where it's not as confusing as a website for a client to go to. They show up on, on your website, they're trying to find out a specific piece of information, uh, maybe a service that you offer, and they hit your website and it's just a ton of stuff, like to, totally you know, visually overwhelming and they can't, can't really uh, find out what they wanna do and then they, they jump off. So the idea behind Linktree is a simple way that you can just give out your services that you do and it just links to all of your other services. So people can go, hey, here you are for me, I use brandondebeer.com, they hit Linktree and then I can send them to wherever they're looking to go without being overwhelmed. So. First thing you want to do is go ahead and go to linktr.ee. It's not linktree.com. I'll go ahead and put that in the comments as well, uh, just in case uh, you do forget. So the first thing you want to do is, is going to sign up. There's both free and paid versions for today's purposes. We're just going to do uh, the free version. Um, so I'm just going to do, I already have an account at Brandon DeVere. So I will just do, let's say, uh, see if they have Brandon J. DeVere. Middle name Joseph. See if they, oh, so we're good to go. All right, so I'm going to do, um, let me just check in here, and then I will just go ahead and do a password. Agree, and then you're gonna sign up. So there are a couple things. Um, so I'm just going to do, this is what I, the name of my book. So I, I have a couple of accounts called the semi retired agent. So what I'm going to do is go here, click the traffic lights to make sure that I'm not a robot and verify that. Um, here you can, you can uh, select what you have here. What I would end up putting on here is uh, probably business if you're using it for real estate purposes um, and click real estate and get yourself signed up there. So what we're gonna do here, obviously there's a couple different things. You can go back and look at this and see which one you prefer, which one you wanna use. But um, for this, per these purposes here, I'm just going to go ahead and do um, the free version. And we will go ahead and continue to the link tree. So <clears throat> the easiest way to start this is just to do links from your website. Um, one of the things, that I prefer to do is actually go through. So you can come over here and look at my, this is my LinkedIn tree. So I have get your free book, a book call with me, uh, personal Facebook, join the seminary tradition, private mastermind, all these things here where I want to send people. So most agents will probably have something like a, you know, a home value. They have, you know, certain home searches. Maybe you are, are niching down and you're using specific, uh, neighborhoods and, and things like that that you want people to go to maybe you want them to go to your youtube channel maybe they want maybe you want them uh to go to you know your tiktok whatever it is uh, you can put whatever link that you want in here but my advice to you you can again you can put your link from wherever uh, my advice to you is to create yourself a c tiny um it's called app.ctiny.io this will actually allow you to create a trackable link and a, a, a shortened link. So what you can do, for instance, I created this right here, and this is going to be a home search. So this is a Summerlin. Summerlin home search. So I can just title that. So I'm here in Las Vegas, and there's a, a master plan community here called Summerlin. And I'll just use Summerlin home search for, for these purposes. So right here, I can go check out the, the short URL. It's going to have the, the HTTPS. Um, ctiny.me slash Summerlin Home Search. So I'm going to grab that. That just copied it. Take it over here and I'm going to just type in search Summerlin Homes. And I can do Las Vegas just in case people aren't familiar. Um, so right there, now this green button means that, it, it, that it's on. Perfect. So now I can have people go take a look at that. So search Summerlin Homes. So if I click on that, <clears throat> it's going to take you. So it's just going to take a second here. 
um, to get to get kicked up. Um, but here we go. Now here are the Summerlin homes from that site. Uh, additionally, so here I have you know uh, add new link uh, new link <clears throat> again. So I go back here to the dashboard, and you can create whatever link that you want. Throw it in here um, to C Tiny, and it will tell you what you know. You have 500 links to start with, <clears throat> and it will let you know exactly what you want. So for right here, I actually have a C Tiny. If you can see this, I have a C Tiny for my um, for my link tree. Uh, so for instance, here's an Instagram one. If I want them to go to my Instagram. So I can go back here, click title, follow me on Instagram, throw in that see tiny link. And the reason again, why I want to um, do these links here, because you can go back and you can name them whatever you want in see tiny, right? So you can edit, edit your short URL. So when you come in here, you can change this back here. You can actually change this slug tag, which will be at the end of this link here. So you see this is 562 and 9, 562 and 9. So if I change this and I went to an Instagram, came down here and hit save, you're going to see now that link is copy that. I can go back into Linktree. So this says someone on home search. Actually, both of them do because I forgot to. Uh, copy that one. Um, but now I have C tiny Instagram. So if somebody's going to follow me on Instagram, that's where they can go. So again, you can do this. I can show you a, a ton of different ways that you, you can do this. Um, that's not necessarily, uh, I mean, obviously, you know what, what you can use it for. You can do it for a number of different things. So just continue to do that. Uh, and then from there, you can do a couple different things. Um, sorry, let me backtrack a little bit. So what you, the reason that you want to use C tiny is because you can actually go change this. And if I go, uh, again, back to edit short URL, I can put my Instagram in here a number of times, depending on where I put it. So if you want to find out where people are clicking on your stuff, you Instagram, I would do uh, my slug Instagram, link tree. And so we add that. So if I had a, an Instagram somewhere, um, I could either use the Instagram, that was just for a blanket Instagram, or I can use this Instagram uh, that will actually um, be showing that it's hitting here from uh, Linktree. So that's that's the benefit of using um, C Tiny. Again, you can use whatever link you want. Um, I just prefer to use it this way, so I have an idea of where my tra traffic's coming from. So I know if I need to spend more time or less time in that area. So here, once you have uh, the, your link. Your link tree, it will show up just like this, you know, photo here. Obviously, you're going to go through and, and add your um, your appearance. You can do a number of different things with uh, with your profile. So pick an image. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab uh, this one that I grabbed earlier. It's just a, a random photo. Um, but we'll let that load up here in a second, and then that will be your photo. So we'll just take this guy here. Um, Save that. We're going to upload. Now you have your photo. You can professional title at Brandon J. DeVere. Perfect. Um, real estate agent. Las Vegas. Uh, whatever you want to do in here, enter your bio. Um, whatever you need there. You can uh, obviously some of these things, just like Canva, uh, will call in, in other uh platforms will cost you money uh, for certain things, but you can use these other ones for free. Um, I like to just keep it kind of simple. The ones that I do. So here's this and that's what your yours is going to look like. And you can add as many links as you like. And once you're done, so here uh, back pro, you can go um, a bunch of different things. Again, not going to you're not going to share that. Um, but what you also can do is um, to share it online. What you want to do is go ahead and this is going to be the link. So if you ever want to share it with somebody, uh, and you can also forward a domain there. For instance, mybrandonnevere.com goes to my link tree. Um, it goes to my link tree um, uh, URL. But what you can also do, and I highly recommend this, uh, because sharing it offline is going to be much easier 
people don't really listen. Like you put it, your business, your website on your business card. People don't really look at it. I mean, you can say, find me on Twitter and put your username or, or uh, Instagram, whatever, Facebook. But the reality is people, they still have to go. It's extra effort for people to, to check it out. But when you can do here is you can get your QR code. What I highly recommend is downloading your QR code, taking that. And when you take a photo of that, Everyone knows now through COVID and everything, you go to a restaurant, most everyone knows how to use a QR code. So now I would add this to your business card uh, so that if you wanted to share with someone uh, your link, you can just pop it out. Hey, here it is. And all these things, the, the beauty about um, about Linktree is you can see here, like I have a, I have a book that I can send people to. Um, my Facebook, I can have them join the mastermind. Um, I can th throw them in. I have a couple podcasts uh, that I've done and I can send them to all these things, which may not make sense on a website. And a lot of times the website has so many different things going on that it's really tough. And you'll see a lot of these, uh, a lot of people use Linktree in their uh, Instagram. So people can go click on it easily, but offline, I highly recommend, you know, doing this because if maybe you have something that you enjoy outside of just selling real estate and you want people to know about you that you do that. I highly recommend putting that on there too. Um, you know, just because you're a real estate agent doesn't mean you're, you're not a real person. And if you're wanting to give out, um, let people know who you are, this is a great way to do it. And, um, it's, uh, it's, it's very easy to get people here and it's very easy for them to find out what it is that they need to do. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to, um, put some things in the comments. I'd love to see some of your link trees uh, and see how they turned out. Uh, go ahead and put those in the comments as well and like and subscribe uh, if we brought some value to you today. All right, have a great one.